This is Hannah and Kaylin for Teen Kids News, and we're here with Australian music sensation Cody Simpson on one of his Paradise tour stops. How are you? Great, how are you? Great. So, your new album, Surfer's Paradise, comes out in four days. Are you excited? Very excited. I've been waiting for a long time. Is it vastly different, or is it just kind of the same style, or what? Not vastly. It's more mature. Um, I've sort of you know, definitely grown up and discovered myself through this album, so like, I wanted to you know, share that. I think it definitely showcases how I've grown, and I wanted to share a piece of myself You've said that the songs on the new album were inspired by your carefree life while living in Australia. Is there any particular place you go to write to get in the zone, or is it just whenever you feel inspired? Um, honestly, whenever I feel inspired, I get inspired, you know, in many different situations, and um, I can be inspired at any time, so I always keep my phone around to write down little notes. You've said that while writing Surfer's Paradise, it kind of made you feel like you were back home in Australia. What is the first memory that comes to mind? Oh, I mean, I've had uh, so many, many, many great memories there. You know, I always go back every year, and um, and you know, it's just it's tough to pick one when I've had so many memories. It's all just a great, great blur of things, you know, throughout my life. You've been touring nonstop. The only particular moment that stands out to you as being the most surreal so far? It's been, um, like I mentioned about Australia, like it's sort of like there's been so many things. I have new stories, new things to. You know, new things that happen every single day, obviously, that you know, they're just amazing. So it's tough to pick like, one thing that stands out amongst the rest when it's also great. My favorite song on the album is Summertime of Our Lives. Do you have a favorite? Um, I love Summertime of Our Lives too, actually. Um, it's one of my favorites, but um, I love Pretty Brown Eyes. I love this song called Lada D as well. I like that one too. Last month you announced that you've teamed up with Teen Cancer USA. Is there any particular reason why you chose that cause to support? Yeah, actually. Um, I was in London. Um, and the manager of The Who came to my show with his daughter and his daughter so I introduced me to him and he told me about this this uh, organisation, this charity and how Roger Daltrey wanted me to be involved in it and was, I was very honoured you know, to be involved. Obviously I love doing things and that will help you know, me inspire and make a difference in the lives of people my age um, you know, and I have a voice amongst young people so I want to use my best to use that for good and, and uh, go and meet patients and stuff which is amazing, it's very inspiring. Yeah. What would you recommend to other teens who want to get involved? No, I think a small thing, a small act can go a long way. You know, just start start locally and you know, do your part, yeah. You have a book being published in October called Welcome to Paradise, My Journey. What inspired you to write an autobiography? I was sort of, um, you know, I just wanted to share my story from my own words and like, bring my fans a little bit closer to me. What do you think we can learn about you after reading this book? Um, a lot of different things that happened sort of in my childhood before people started paying attention. I don't want to give away too much, obviously, because you got to read the book, you know. I understand. I was reading that a fan gave you a turtle a while back as a pet, and I just have to ask, what did you name him, and how is he doing? He's doing well. Um, his name's Frankie. Um, he lives in Florida. Uh, with my manager's sister somewhere. at a wildlife facility somewhere, and I guess I'll see him when I go to Florida. Your Instagram pictures are always very creative. Do you just use an app, or how do you do that? I, um, I use a couple different apps, and um, I don't really like to tell people too much because I like to keep it sort of a secret because I like to have a unique Instagram page. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> Thank you. It was nice meeting you.